Hey guys and welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Phil Richards. Today we're going to be looking at the near impingement test. So what is this test for? Well the name kind of gives it away. It's an impingement test, particularly thinking about the supraspinatus and it's also thought to potentially be involved of the biceps tendon. So what is a positive sign? Well we're looking to reproduce the patient's pain. And how do we do it? So what we're going to do is we're going to be working in the line of scaption and we're going to be medially rotating the arm as far as we're able to go. The reason for this is it's going to bring the greater tuberosity from a more posterior lateral point round through more anteriorly, so it's going to butt up against the front of the acromion more. And that's how it's going to interact to see if it's going to catch an impinge. So what we do is we turn around. Be careful not to grab and twist at the hand. We're going to scoop under. And then from here, we passively lift up and we stop if the patient is apprehensive or reproduces the pain. Some clinicians like to also depress the scapula, which you can simply do by standing behind the patient, supporting down on the scapula and lifting up still in that line of scaption. So, do we use this test a lot in clinical practice? Well, the answer is not often. And the reason is the poor sensitivity and specificity. Because there's so many structures that are going to be jammed in this process, it, we're not really going to know that much about what's going on. As with other tests, though, you don't only have to look for the pain provocation. You can see how they move, how they react, what the end feel is. You can still gather a lot of data. So it still can be useful. But do we use it routinely? Not really. And that concludes our video on the NEARS impingement test. From here, we recommend you check out our video on the Hawkins-Kennedy impingement test, and you'll see similarities between the two. For instance, the specificity and sensitivity is not amazing for them both, and this is reflected in how many structures are being wound up and stressed. So when you're using these tests, take the results with a pinch of salt and use your other tests from our other videos you can check out to form your clinical impression. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon on Clinical Physio.